What's up everybody, Derek here. And I've got an awesome little boat here. And I was just thinking to myself, I just kind of showed you all what I found out and how much money I've spent on this thing and why this is probably one of the best builds that you can basically make out there for the price being brand new, like $1,500. You can't beat that. But what I want to do today is I want to take this motor before it gets too dark out here. And I want to go see how fast this thing will go. I haven't tested the top speed and I got a GPS uh, thing on my iPhone that I downloaded. So it's not really windy. We got some glass water out here right now. And I'm not sure how fast this thing's gonna go. It's a seven horsepower. The thing's only rated for three and a half. But think about how much a three and a half horsepower outboard weighs. Of course, the torque and all that is gonna be more than that, but. That weighs about the same as a three and a half horse uh, outboard. It's only like 60 pounds. It might even be less. But let's go out here and see if we can turn on the old GPS and go down this lake and see exactly how this thing does. All right, we got the boat here. We got the motor ready. I'm ready to go down here and test this thing out. So let's push it on out. What I'll do here is I'll put the motor up to right in there and we'll just kind of drift out here and then start this thing up and see what it does. All right, as you can see, I got the GPS ready here, but we're gonna get this thing go ahead and start it up and everything. So let me put this down. Oh, we'll put it right here. Hopefully that doesn't go flying out. Oh, kill switch came out. Choke is on. There we're going. We might have too much gas going to it. For the first time though, I just seen we hit five miles an hour. Average speed was four miles an hour. So let's try this puppy out again.
turn the choke up just to see if they dumps a little more. Starting to lose speed though. We're down to seven. And we're kind of coming off on an adrenaline rush the only bad part about this motor is look at this it'll just keep on going back all the way back to where it articulates so since I got this cool little seat I just slide back a little bit and my weights holding this thing down but oh that was fun let me grab this phone over all of that it says we averaged five miles an hour I don't even know if it says what our top speed was Maximum speed, 10 miles an hour. So we hit 10 miles an hour in this little thing. That was awesome. This little thing gets it, and I didn't even hit the throttle yet. I got a problem with my, uh, with my choke here, so I'm going to have to get that fixed so we can get to going on this thing. I don't know, uh, 12, 14 miles an hour once you hit the throttle. I don't know if you're going to want to go faster than that on this. Because I noticed as it was rising up out of the water, man, that thing, you could, this thing isn't really that tippy, but when you get that, that closer to the center line with the, the pontoons that are on this thing, it got a little bit leany, kind of like a kayak does. So if you lean to one side, you feel like you're going to start to go out. That's kind of what it felt like when we got up on plane at about nine miles an hour, but. Oh, I can't complain with this thing. That was fun. But thanks for watching, you guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.